Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect French baguette at home. Let's go! I'm Fabrice. I've been a French baker since I was 15 and I'm the host of the Boulangerie Parapa channel on YouTube. To begin, there are two secrets to making good bread. Carefully weigh the ingredients with a scale. And number two, pay attention to the temperature. In the bread, there are yeast or pseudo starter. For an optimum result, you need to master the temperature. And now, let's see the recipe. With this quantity, you could make three beautiful French baguettes. Firstly, we have to weigh the ingredients. Wheat flour, T65 without additive, 500 grams. Salt, 9 grams. Fresh yeast, 4 grams. But if you can find a fresh yeast and have dry yeast instead, 2 grams. Water, 330 grams. For the water, we first need to do a quick calculation. When baking bread, we use what's called bath temperature. We do a simple calculation to make sure we obtain the dough that's between 23 or 26 degrees at the end of the mixing phase. And this way, the yeast is in the best condition to activate. We take a reference figure given by the baker or in the recipe. For us today, the number is 65. Then you deduct the temperature of the room and the temperature of the flour. This will give you the water temperature for kneading. For example, 65 degrees Celsius is the bath temperature. Minus 26 degrees the room temperature. Minus 27 degrees the flour temperature. Equal 12 degrees Celsius the water temperature. So, today we need to prepare the water at 12 degrees Celsius and starter 50 grams. I created my starter six years ago with one apple and one spoon of honey. It's really easy to make your own starter. If you want a video to learn the best technique to make a powerful starter, leave a comment. To begin, we are going to make an autolyse. It's not mandatory, but I love doing an autolyse with the new flour to check its reaction. Sometimes flowers are a little bit stronger and sometimes it can like strain. I only do an autolyse when my flour is too strong to improve the flexibility. To make an autolyse, you just need to put the water and the flour in the mixing bowl and mix with the hook for three minutes at the first speed. After three minutes, check the consistency, cover with a film or a plastic bag and rest at the room temperature for 45 minutes. Then we can put the salt the yeast and the starter and mix for 8 minutes at the first speed and 2 minutes at the second speed. If the dough is too dry, we can put a little water to reach the perfect consistency. When the mixing is done, you need to take a small piece of dough and try to make the famous window pane to check if the gluten network has developed properly. If the gluten network is not good, we can mix for another 1 or 2 minutes but not too much. Then we are going to transfer the dough in the tub, making a little stretch and fold and leave it to rest for one hour at the room temperature. We are calling this step the bulk fermentation and in French, le pointage. After one hour, we have to do a stretch and fold Really easy. Yes, perfect like that. Put the tub in the fridge at 4 degrees Celsius for 12 hours. This step gives flavor and better conservation to the bread. Bye bye. Next day, firstly, put the dough at the room temperature and wait till the dough reach 17 degrees. It's important to work the dough not too cold to have a better result. 17 degrees. When the dough is ready, we scale at 300 grams and pre-shape into a batter. Dust it lightly with flour. Let's have a look more closely. Put the dough on the bench. If the dough is too sticky, dust it lightly with flour. Scale at 300 grams with the scraper. Let's pre-shape the dough, dust it lightly with flour, fold 
the top part of the door down in the middle, press with your finger, make another fold in the same direction to give it strength. At that point, leave it to rest on the bench for 15 minutes, don't forget to cover the door. Okay, now we are going to shape our baguette. When you move your baguette, use the scraper. We need to prepare a couche to put the baguette. Put the seam on the top, dust it lightly with flour and gently pat the dough to get rid of fermentation bubble. My tips for shaping your baguette is to shape twice in the same direction. Press with your finger. and shape your baguette. Take your baguette, seam side down on the couche. Two. Shape your baguette, take your couche on the board and put your baguette, seam side down. The dough doesn't stick, it's well shaped, it's perfect. How baguettes are shaped? Let's prove for 45 minutes at the room temperature. Don't forget to cover the dough. During the second proof, preheat the oven at 250. And if you want, you can put a small stone like a pizza stone in your oven for a better result. 45 minutes later, it's a big moment. The baking time. We need to take a tray, a baking sheet and a board. Using the board, I transfer the baguette on the sheet. Gentle. Remember, don't touch the baguette with your finger. Dust it with a white flour using the tea bowl or a small sieve. Take your blade, use a razor blade, not a kitchen knife, and mind your fingers. We are going to score three times because my baguette is 30 centimeters long. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. My home baking routine. Step 1. Boil some water in the kettle. Step 2. Open the oven's door. Step 3. Put the baguette on the baking stone. Step 4. Put some water in the bottom tray. Be fast. And I'm baking my baguette for 15 minutes. The steam is really important to obtain a good color on your baguette. After 15 minutes, release the steam. And bake for additional 3 or 4 minutes. And don't forget, let's clean up our bench. Always keep your bench clean. Use the scraper. One of my tips, remove the excess of flour. And after, just with little water. Perfect. Time's up. Let's have a look. The baguette. Put your baguette on the rack and leave it to cool. Look at this magnificent baguette. So crunchy. The sound of heaven. Let's slice our baguette together. The honeycomb structure, it's perfect. Terrific. Let's try it. Mm. And the smell. I wish you could smell it. That's the result of the Otolis and the long bulk fermentation. Now you know how to make a perfect French baguette at home. If you like this video, leave me a comment below. Allez, bye bye.